Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for being here. My name is Andrew, coming to you from the beautiful Carolinas. Today's topic is going to be glad you made it again. Think about that for a minute. Everyone, if you like the content, please like, subscribe, and share. So many of you know the journey. You've been on it with me. Today marks the three year anniversary of the channel. And I am glad that you made it today. And I'm glad you will make it tomorrow. You see this journey that we are on post narcissistic relationship it is putting ourselves back together it is understanding that we are the priority and that we do come first second and third and the narcissist tried to take us down for the count they did their best and maybe they're even trying it with you right now but they're not going to succeed you see you are becoming awakened and aware educated and empowered you have gone through something or you are exiting something that most people weren't prepared to exit or to even enter it's called the narcissistic abusive cycle this is something that will change your life forever. And once you have healed, or once you reach that pinnacle of indifference, that mountaintop of indifference, you will understand that this journey was all that you had to go through. There was no other way. The narcissist saw you. They took your beautiful, bright, shining light, and they tried to extinguish it. And each and every day when you were in that relationship, they tried their best, but they failed. Because one day you found that needle in a haystack, just like all those needles, pine straw behind me, you found that one, one in a billion, maybe even a hundred billion. And that was the first light bulb moment that you had on the education of the narcissistic abusive cycle. And I will tell you a few things before I really jump into the video that you weren't supposed to get this wisdom. You weren't supposed to have the tools. You weren't supposed to figure out that the narcissist was in fact wearing a mask, that they were manipulating you. And you weren't supposed to put two and two together. At least that's the way, the way the narcissist saw what you would or wouldn't do. They didn't want you to succeed or accomplish your goals, your hopes, your dreams, your aspirations. They didn't want you to figure out who they were. So as the thumbnail mentions, I'm glad you made it because it was three years ago today, this exact day, March 31st, 2021, at about 10 o'clock in the evening, when I myself, I said, I need to take action. I need to do something. I can't continue to just ruminate and to think about the ending of the relationship and why me and shedding all the tears that I shed and I had practiced radical acceptance back then it took me a while to do that and I put a mountain of work into myself from October 29th 2020 when I was discarded during a very challenging period of time we all know what that was and this was around the holidays and in a moment my whole life changed changed on a dime the next day everything was shifted for me and I had very, very challenging days, weeks, weekends, evenings. I had so much time by myself to focus on what was important and how that relationship, what it really was. And it culminated on January 6, 2021. That was a very pivotal day for me, a day that I really don't wanna discuss on this video. I just wanna mention it to you. It was about two months after I got discarded that I almost didn't make it. Then again, fast forward to March 31st, 2021, five months and two days after I was discarded, I picked up the camera. I, cre I cre created, sorry, I'm getting a little emotional. I created my first video, 10 o'clock at night. And I'll tell you that if you look back in those videos, I look differently. I was broken, beaten down, a little bit younger, less gray hair. But what I was, was I was determined. I was resilient. I was driven. I was focused. I knew that I had a bigger and better purpose on this planet than what I, because I knew that there was a bigger thing for me out there. And it wasn't just being in a relationship. What it was, was I had to pay it forward. And I guaranteed and promised everybody on my moonshot, on that very first video, which was titled, Glad You Made It. And I will talk about that in a moment. I promised the world that I would create my moonshot and help people to get across the bridge where I, when I wasn't even across the bridge myself, but I knew that I had a higher purpose, a calling, that that relationship that almost took me down for the count, there was a meaning behind it, and I figured it out. And so if you really think about what this video is called, is titled, it's called Glad You Made It Again. And I made the same video with different circumstances last year and the year before, I believe. Oh, sorry, the first year was Glad You Made It. Think about those words, Glad You Made It. Now go back in time, what I shared with you, January 6, 2021. I almost didn't make it. Now, I'm not trying to trigger you or upset you. Many of us almost don't make it. Some of us actually don't make it, but that's not you. You need to understand that you are the priority. If I did it during those challenging times, you can do it. And I am very, very glad that I made it. And I'm very, very glad that you are making it or you have made it. So understand that 
that relationship, there was no other way. You had to go through it. You may think that you, you didn't deserve it and why me and all these things. And I, I understood all those notions. I went through those myself. That's when practicing radical acceptance really kicked in that life is what it is. And there are people out there that will try to manipulate you and take advantage of you. And the narcissist is at the top of that list, but that's not you. You are what I call a beautiful, bright, shining light. You are not supply. You are an abundant, beautiful, loved, and cherished, and honored, and relished human being, as am I. And so when I say glad you made it, it means look back at the body of that relationship for a moment, if you will. You had so much things, so many things you had to deal with, all the manipulation, all the toxicity. I'm not gonna go into details of what the terms or definitions of the glossary are in this video, because I wanna let you know that I made it. I'm here, I'm in a whole different environment, and I had to really fight like you know what to get here. And that's probably what you have done or you will do. Each and every one of us have similar experiences in the narcissistic relationship, yet are unique to ourselves. We do know that the narcissist uses the same playbook and they come at you with the same techniques over and over again. It's not until you get the wisdom and you block these people and go no contact and delete them and remove everybody, flying monkeys included from that period of time or most people, and you understand that you have to slow your life down, you have to process things, you have to heal. And in time, in your time, you will heal. When you do all these things, life becomes slower. Life becomes abundant. You are connected with the higher self. You leave the, you leave the ego to the side. And well, I will mention ego for a moment. The ego is something that I put aside when I experienced the dark night of the soul, which is a whole different video I created. Many of you have not gone through the dark night of the soul, and my hope is you never do. Some of you have gone through it. Others have gone through it more than once. The dark night of the soul will change your life forever. It's not just words, it's a real, real thing that almost really takes you down for the count again. You see, the narcissistic relationship was a multi-layered doomsday machine, if you will. It really did not want you to make it, but you did, and here you are. And you need to be fortunate, you need to be grateful, you need to be understanding that you really are a special and unique and loved person. And I am extremely glad that you made it. Now, throughout the last three years of me creating videos, you've seen me take some very emotional trips. You've seen me shed tears when I had to leave Costa Rica. You've seen me eat bugs when in Costa Rica. You've seen me waffle around in the jungle and in the rainforest and in the trees and the forest here in the Carolinas. You've seen me out in the cold and the elements. And I do that for a purpose, for a reason, to let you know that it doesn't matter what is around you. The thing is you can continue to focus on yourself and no matter what weather comes your way, you can weather the storm. You can make it. Again, I made it. If I made it, you can make it. So take everything one day at a time. Focus on yourself. Realize that where you are right now, if it is not where you want to be, you will get where you want to be. But you're going to have to have a plan. You're going to have to execute the plan. You're going to have to really focus on yourself. And you're going to have to understand that to execute the plan, there will be some sacrifices that must be made. Example, many of the people in the past of the narcissistic relationship are what I call casualties of the relationship. And some of these people are really good quality people but you have to let them go. Because if they're connected to the narcissist or if they're one step away from the narcissist, that's not what you want. You need to live your life narcissist free, toxic free, manipulating free. That's how you live your life. So saying goodbye to some of these people, not literally, but in your mind and loving them from afar is the path. Understanding that your journey is your journey. Your journey is not another person's journey. And when you were with the narcissist, your, your life was put on hold and you were existing in that devaluation stage, you were living the life of the narcissist and you were pumping them up and you were doing everything you possibly could to benefit them to the detriment of yourself. Now, all of these things I'm mentioning to you, they culminate in this. Like I mentioned three years ago, this exact date, I picked up the camera and created the first video ever. Now, did I know that the channel would do as well as it has done? I didn't. Am I grateful that it has? Yes, I am. Will I continue to pay it forward each and every day? Yes, I will. A year from today, will, will I be in a different location creating a video very similar to this with another year of healing under my belt? Absolutely. I'll continue to do the videos each and every day just like I promised you in the original Glad You Made It video, which was so appropriately titled. It's really a deep title for that video if you think about it. Spe spe specifically, if you've healed, you know what I'm talking about because I am so glad that I made it. I'm so glad you are making it or you did make it. Each and every day, I give you my best. Each and every day, I do my best to create authentic, genuine videos without a script in different locations. And sometimes, yes, it can be a little bit noisy. There's construction at times and sometimes the wind blows and 
But I, too, I shoot these videos with one take. And yes, do I make mistakes? Absolutely. Do I give it everything I have? I do. Will I continue to do that? Yes, I will. I will give you my best each and every day, just like I promised you three years ago today. I won't stop. I will not stop. And I want to share a very special thing here in this part of the video. To my mom and dad, I love you both more than you will ever know. You created a very strong person in me with all of the upbringing and all the manners you taught me and all the right from wrong and all that courage and fortitude that you instilled in me it paid off handsomely. And it is still paying off right now because I'm doing the best I can and I will continue to help people every single day. I'm getting a little emotional because it's been three years and three years is a long time. But each and every day I practice gratitude with my parents and so many other things and I practice thankfulness and I appreciate where I am and how far I've come. And again, I want you to understand a few things. Emotions are meant to be let out. They're not meant to be kept in. When you're in the narcissistic relationship, your emotions are anything but heard and you can't express yourself many times. If you do express yourself, usually you're expressing yourself in a negative context because the narcissist is usually trying to push your buttons and get a reaction out of you. They don't want you to be you. They want you to be nothing but a shell of yourself. That's why you lose, you lose your identity to these people. These people are toxic. I'm not gonna focus any more about them. I'm just gonna share that if you have people that have helped you across the path or have helped you to that pinnacle of indifference and you know now that you couldn't do it unless you really dug in deep to yourself, then you really are a special and fortunate person. And you should appreciate that and love yourself and honor yourself and be kind to yourself. That is what I do each and every day and my hope is that's what you're doing. So let your emotions out. If you wanna shed a tear here with me, do it, God bless you. Tears are a good thing. They're not a sign of weakness like the narcissist thinks. They're a sign of strength. They're a sign of you being authentic and genuine and being your real self and expressing yourself is what you should do. That's what I do each and every day when I create a video. And that's what I did three years ago when I picked up the first camera ever at about 10 o'clock at night and I took action. That is the path. It's taking action and doing things that serve you. It's not doing things that other people want you to do. It's not putting other people in front of yourself. It's not being a people pleaser. It's not being a yes person. It's not not having boundaries. You have to have boundaries and you have to know your value and your worth and you have to know that I believe in you more than you will ever know. I am your number one supporter, your number one fan and each and every day my hope is you're getting value out of the videos I create because that's the path. The path is to get the education, apply the tools, accept the wisdom and understand that your journey, you are perhaps walking right side by side with me. Maybe you're in front of me on the healing path. Maybe you're behind me. But the point is we are all on the healing path headed in the same direction, simply taking different footsteps, which means we're on different parts of healing. Now to answer a question that I get frequently, am I healed, am I good? I'll tell you right now, I'm about as good as anybody could possibly be on this planet after experiencing what I experienced. To put a number on it, I would say I'm 99.999%. Yes, I don't believe anybody will ever be 100% because you still have things that you think about in the past. You still at times will smell a perfume or a cologne and think about some certain events and holidays will sometimes trigger you or you know, put you in a different mindset, etc. But then you reframe all these things and the further you get away from that relationship, the more ability you have to heal and the more your energy returns, your health returns, your finances return, your network of friends returns, you can fall in love again, you can take a class, teach a class, read a book, write a book, you can do whatever you want to in your own time. That is the path. That is why I repeat so many messages during my videos because people need to hear the same messages over and over and over again, the same positive messages that are reinforced with the words that I use. And keep in mind for some people that may say to themselves, wait, Andrew, you repeat yourself so much. Why would you do that? The reason I do it again is to reinforce the positive affirmations and the positive beliefs and experiences that I've had and that I want you to have also. But also because think about one thing. As you're watching the video, maybe you were, your relationship ended 10, 20 years ago and you're still getting wisdom from the videos. That's beautiful. But perhaps it is somebody's first video they've ever seen. And that person doesn't know what you know. At one point, that was you. That was me. That's why I repeat myself to let you know that we're all in this together. We need to get stronger. We need to heal. We need to have boundaries. We need to focus on ourselves. So I am very, very glad that you made it. And my hope is once your cup is full and you fully heal, you get to that pinnacle of indifference, that mountaintop of indifference where I am, that you can pay it forward also and you can help others across the bridge. Because there are challenging nights. There are very, very 
tough experiences to go through. There's a lot of learning to go through. There's a huge learning curve post-narcissistic relationship. We now, we now know most of, if not all of that, but each and every day you will get stronger once you block these people and you understand that where you are now maybe isn't where you want to be or in my case, where I am now is exactly where I want to be. Understand what I'm sharing with you. I am so glad that you made it. I'm fortunate, I am blessed, and I am very grateful to have the ability to create the videos that I create with the energy that runs through me and the words that go through me onto this video and so you can absorb it. Whether you're going to bed right now, whether you're waking up, whether you're on a plane, an automobile, a train, maybe you're at work, maybe you're, you're on vacation, who knows where you are, but you're getting the wisdom. And really understand that my channel is to let you know that if I did this, you can do it. And it is also to let you know that you are valued, you're cherished, and you are worth so much more than anybody ever gave you credit for. Except for maybe a few beautiful people, like example, my parents. But what I'm sharing with you is focus on yourself. There will be dark days, there will be challenging experiences, there will be hurdles to overcome, and understanding that the light at the end of the tunnel, if you're not already through it, it will get bigger each and every day, each and every hour, when you continue to focus on who you are and what you've experienced and what you are going to accomplish in the future. Before I close the video, I'll sh I will say this. Many times during one-on-one -on -one sessions, I mention this, and I've mentioned it in videos at, at times recently, the doors of abundance sincerely will open up for you once you block the narcissist and you heal. The key here is healing. Now, time is not the only element that will help you heal. It's understanding the glossary, the terms, the definitions on the cycle and slowing your life down and blocking people and really, really digging in deep to yourself. In time, in your time, you will heal, but nobody can tell you when you will heal. I certainly didn't know when I would, and, but I did, and here I am. But you're gonna have to really battle this. You're gonna really have to go toe to toe with this dark energy source that almost took you down for the count, but it didn't. So when you do that, you will really get to that other side of the bridge where I am and where so many other people are. And when you get to that pinnacle, you can pay it forward and help other people out. So everyone, before I go, and I know the lighting isn't the best for this one, but it's not about lighting, it's about the message. It's to let you know I am sincerely honored to be able to each and every day create a video. I am humbled by all the beautiful positive words that I read in the community and by the emails I get. And I am really sincerely so blessed to be able to share my journey and my experiences with you, not only today, but for the last three years. And I will continue to create my moonshot. I will continue to move forward each and every day, creating the best videos I can and preparing you for things that perhaps you've already known or you needed reminders of, or maybe you haven't experienced yet. I love you all. God bless you. So that's the video. I hope you liked it. I loved doing it from the beautiful Carolinas. This is Andrew. Namaste. Have a great afternoon, evening, or morning, no matter where you are on the planet, you are not alone. Remember that, you are not alone. And I've said this multiple times, I'm gonna say it one more time, I am sincerely glad that you made it. Some people don't, you did, and you're here now. You need to really understand that you are a beautiful and abundant person. Continue to believe in yourself as much as I believe in you. I love you all, God bless you, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. And one more thing, I wanna say this to my parents who are not with us, I love you so much, Mom. And I love you so much, Dad. You've given me so much. Not only have you given it to me, but you've allowed me to pay it forward to help other people. I love you more than you will ever know. God bless you all. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Have a great afternoon. And remember, focus on yourselves. I am so glad you made it. Three years ago today, I was not in the same space as I am now. And I had some challenges to say the least, but here I am paying it forward and you will too. I love you all. God bless you. I'll talk to you tomorrow.